In the first three weeks after the egg and sperm cell fuse to become a zygote, the sex is physiologically undetermined. The zygote goes through the normal stages of embryonic development and part of the embryo starts developing into the urogenital tract containing the gonads. But what are gonads? Are they some kind of fruit? No, the gonads are the primitive stage of either the testes or ovaries and form at the start of sex determination. They are the base of the urogenital tract together with the Mullerian duct and the Wolfian duct. During week 4, the germ cells, which will later become the sperm or egg cells, migrate into the gonads. The gonads at this point of development are still capable of becoming either male or female genitalia. Primary sex determination is determined by the karyotype. As such, males have the XI sex chromosomes and females have the XX chromosomes. At the cell level, certain signaling molecules are needed to initiate the pathways for the development of the ovaries. Here, WIN4 in red and R responding 1 in white are both needed to increase beta-catenin in the cell, which activates ovarian pathway. The gonads are now destined to become the female reproductive tract. Granulosa cells will now envelop the germ cells and afterwards, fecal cells start surrounding the granulosa cells and thus forming the many follicles containing the future female egg cells. The fecal cells then start secreting estrogen, which allows the Mullerian duct to further differentiate into the womb and simultaneously degrading the Wolfian duct. In males, there is a defined time in which the sex determining region of the Y chromosome, or SRI for short, is transcribed and translated initiating the male pathway. SRI then leads to the production of SOX9, which through various mechanisms and feedback loops starts the development of the gonads into testes. Under the influence of SOX9, gonadal cells around the germ cells will start to differentiate into Sertoli cells and aid in the future creation of sperm cells. SOX9 also induces the differentiation of gonadal cells into Leydig cells, which are responsible for the production of testosterone. During further development of the male reproductive system, the Sertoli cells start secreting anti-Mullerian hormone, which causes the Mullerian duct to degrade. At the same time, testosterone from the Leydig cells stimulates further development of the Wolfian duct. After 20 weeks, the male gonads will have differentiated to testes with a degraded Mullerian duct and a differentiated Wolfian duct which resembles the adult testes. In females, the gonads containing the follicles resemble the adult ovaries with a degraded Wolfian duct and a differentiated Mullerian duct with the primitive womb and the Ovian ducts. Subsequently, Secondary sex determination occurs due to the hormones secreted by the sex determined gonads and a male or female phenotype will develop.